watching out for somebody, huh? <laughs> yeah. How are you today? Oh, I'm all right. I was in the hospital, but I'm recuperating, and I'm okay now. Oh, okay. Well, I was just calling to see if uh, uh if there was a way we could try to help you out with that property in El Paso, and uh, you know, uh, maybe buy it from you and solve the problem and make it a win-win for everybody. Um, is that something you're still interested in selling? Yes. Okay, great, great. And so um, I was told that it needed a little bit of repairs from a pipe bursting or something like that. Is that correct? What? Don't talk so fast. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me slow down. I, I just talk fast naturally. I try my best. Okay. Sorry about that. So I was calling uh, just to see about the house. Um, it needed a little bit of repairs such as the... Um, I guess a pipe burst or something like that and some water damage happened. Yes. Right, right. And so, um, and so you had got quotes for it already. I think they said, let me see here, um, between twelve and fourteen thousand dollars in repairs they told you. Yeah, I went to Home Depot and uh Lowe's and I showed them the floor plan, told them what the story was, and they told me between twelve and fourteen thousand to repair it for move-in condition. Oh, okay. So that's not bad. So is that something you were planning on uh, repairing yourself, or? No, 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 no. I want to sell it as is. I, at one time, my husband and I, that was our resident, and we left all of our furniture, very nice furniture, oak furniture and a car and appliances down there because our intention was we was going to move back down there but then we had some really good friends here in Arizona and they convinced us to move here to Arizona this is why we ended up here oh okay how you like in Arizona so far right so um and so so you wanted to sell this house as is in its current condition uh did you have an idea how much you wanted to get for your house yeah uh i had a really good friend my husband and i we have a good friend and they were top-notch realtor in el paso and the husband passed away and so the wife decided she's going to give up a real estate business and move to New York with her the daughter. And in the meantime, we have been so good friends. They came to our house. They, we went to their house. And they told me uh, after the damage was done, we had, or prior to, I should say, we had done everything new, new carpet, new roof, new furniture, new everything. And so she said, after uh, the damage, excuse me, after the da damage was done, um, I have a hiccup. Uh, after the damage was done, we could sell it for 120000 without repairing it. So we decided, okay, we checked this out with Home Depot and Lowe's and so forth, and they said it would take about twelve to $14,000 to get it into move-in condition. So right now, I'm just making you a really good offer, and I'd be willing to sell it for hundred five thousand. So, so you think you would like to do one oh five on it? Yeah. Okay. And also, I didn't know if uh, if my partner told you when we buy a house, so we buy it as is. Uh, we actually pay the closing costs as well, so there's no real estate commissions, no. Uh, 
uh, fees or anything like that. So the price we agree to is actually the price you would get. Did you know that? Uh, we talked about it. I had some people who called here and were really interested and they gave me some inside information. Okay. And so you were thinking 105. Uh, is that the is that the best that you can do? Well, what is your offer? Let me. Uh... Well, that's uh, yet to be determined here. That's what we're trying to figure out if we can try to make it a win-win situation for you. Um, so, um, is there a way we can take a look inside of this property, or how do we go about seeing inside if we wanted to see inside the house? The only way you can see it inside, you need to go to the backyard and you can look in the window and see because we had removed the carpet or the water was so bad and it's a sunken living room and then there's a former dining room and then there's a kitchen big enough where you can eat, have a table in the kitchen three bedroom, one and three quarter baths, a lot of closet space and cabinet space, nice foyer, and in the garage, we have a car there because we intended to come back, and those are items that I don't even consider. The price I'm offering you is for the house alone. Right, right. And so if we wanted to see inside, is it on a lockbox or something like that? Or how can we see inside? Can we get inside? No, you can only look, go to the backyard and look through the window. Oh, okay. So the doors are all locked up, I guess? Yes, and I had a really good friend who looked after the property all the time. But unfortunately, she just recently passed away. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. And so um, no one else in town there would happen to have a key for it, I guess, huh? No. Mm. Well, I mean, we like it, and we're definitely interested in buying it. Um, the biggest thing is just making sure that, you know, we want to make sure it's a good offer that, that we can back up and actually close on. We don't want to just, you know throw things out there and say things that we can't do. We want to make sure that it's, you know, no. uh, you know, I want to give you a good fair offering. This is only me who you're dealing with and uh, there's no ifs or anything. You just deal with me, Mrs. Phillips. All right. All right. What about the uh, husband? Is he going to have anything to say about it or is he a deciding factor in it as well? My husband is Okay, so it would just be you then. Okay, so we'll, um, so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to run some comps or comparables to see what the houses in the area sold for recently. Do you have an idea what the house would appraise for? Uh, I don't care what it appraise for. This is, I think it's a very, very fair offer. And I don't want to go to appraisal or any such a thing. I just want to sell it, and I'm asking 105, and I think that's a very, very good and fair price. If you can work with that, fine. If not, so be it. Right, right. I understand that. So let me ask you this. Uh, what's more important to you, a quick sale, or is it the price the, the biggest factor for you? I don't care when you want to close. I... Uh, just want to sell it, and whoever comes and makes me a good offer, like on that 5000 they get it. They just have to send me the check, I sent them the key, and they're done. Oh, wow, okay, so you you already got it all figured out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like your spirit. Had, all right, so... I, I, had a, I, I had a really good real estate friend who educated me in this business. Right. Yeah, you got to have good people on your team like that to help you out. Yeah. Yeah, 
That makes sense. What's your name, by the way? Yeah, my name is Chris. Yeah, and I. Oh, and yeah, I, right. Yeah, so like I said, I'm working with Renee on this deal here, and uh, we're trying to make sure that you know we can get you a good, fair offer, and you know get this deal wrapped up for you before Christmas time. Wouldn't that be nice to have some extra Christmas money? Not really. <laughs> Well, put me on your list so you can get me a gift too, right? No, I'm just messing around. <laughs> no, I just want to sell the house. It has nothing to do with Christmas. Okay, okay. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do here now is uh, we're going to run some comps or comparables to see what the houses in the area sold for recently. And then we'll contact you back with the actual offer on it and see what we can do to make this deal work out good for you. How does that sound? I want you to have a good deal for yourself. Well, I appreciate that because that's what we're looking for, a good deal for us and a good deal for you. We like it to be a win-win situation. Right. All right, so did you have any other questions or anything for me before I let you go? No, not really. Just give me a call if you're interested in wanting to buy it and be sincere about it. Give me a call back. Right, right. I sure will. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. Woo. Dang. Not motivated, right? <laughs> no, nah, she motivated. It's just that she kind of like different, you know. She, oh, okay. You got to work on her. You got to touch okay. her a little. You got to. <laughs> nothing to do with Christmas. She said she wasn't going to okay. let me break her up. Money. That's what it is. Well, she could take this 78000 that I wrote on my paper here when I did the numbers. If this, I didn't want to give her an offer because I don't know if the ARV right. you gave and stuff is correct. Right, right, right. So that's why I didn't want to just throw a number out there because I'm going to tell her seventy grand, and we can do it right now. We're sending the paperwork. <laughs> but I don't know what she's talking about. So I'm going to send the key. You're going to send the check. This lady crazy. After, after she gets her money, right? Yeah, we're going to send the key. We're going to break in the house if I'm going to close on the deal. Hell, I, ain't gonna, I don't need your key. I'm getting in that house if I put that kind of money in. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I even streamed it live over here on Instagram. What up, Instagram? I know they laughing and looking at it like, what the heck? <laughs> that was what? funny. Yeah, so let me... Uh, Okay. I'm going to end it on Instagram. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, don't okay. care. Share it out right. to somebody. I'm about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Okay. See y'all later.